Windows 11 laptops at 25,000 rupees. What's the first word that comes to your mind? Slow. Well, Acer launched this new BR1100 series of budget laptops, and these laptops aim to fix the Windows 11 experience in the whole budget laptop segment. There are two laptops, the BR1100C, which is priced at rupees 2499, and this is what I'll be focusing on, but there's also the BR1100F, which is a two-in-one touchscreen laptop at 2999. So let's get started. So this is the Asus BR1100C and I know it looks kind of boxy and functional with the whole plastic design but don't go by its looks. This is a proper rugged design. First of all, this is military grade certified laptop so it has gone through a number of tests and this design just feels solid. You can see the rubber bumpers around the device, the lid and the bottom have a texture that's scratch resistant. There are these rubber feet on the bottom for better grip. Basically, this is not the best looking laptop out there but the flip side is it should be fine with drops and bumps. I mean, I noticed a little bit of flex here and there, but other than that, this feels well built and I like that this whole design is modular and it can be easily opened for repairs and upgrades. Moreover, this is very portable. It's compact and it's very lightweight at 1.26 kgs and you also get this LED indicator on the lid, which by the way, does not open with one hand. Now, this is all fine, but let's get to the important factor. It's the performance that matters in this price range. So let's check out the specs right away. This has the Intel Celeron N4500 chipset, which is a 10 nanometer chipset with dual cores and two threads. It can go up to 2.8 gigahertz. Now this is fine, but what's interesting is that there's a 128 GB Gen 3 SSD here, along with 4 GB DDR4 RAM. Now this is interesting because even in 2022, a lot of laptops in the 25K segment come with either HDD storage or EMMC storage or slower RAM, and they kind of become bottlenecks in the performance. So it's good that Asus has used an SSD along with fast RAM and as for the SSD's performance, here's the Crystal Dismark benchmark score from the laptop, which shows that this is a standard Gen 3 SSD. Also, one thing to note, the SSD here is user upgradable to up to 2 TB. Now here are the benchmark scores from the laptop, but other than that, the user experience on budget Windows laptops is the biggest problem and that's where the BR1100 laptops are surprising. I mean, this is a laptop that won't handle heavyweight intensive apps and games, but day-to-day -day usage should be good. First of all, the boot time of Windows 11 in this laptop is 10 seconds to the login screen and 25 seconds to the desktop, which is pretty good. Apart from that, my usage generally includes Chrome, Slack, some minor photo editing, and this laptop handles that pretty easily. Here's Chrome with 10 tabs open and one of them is playing a video on 1080p and there's also Notepad and Paint.net open in the background and you can see that the performance is good. There's no stutter or lag while using the laptop, switching between tabs. The CPU usage is fine too, around 25 to 35% and the RAM usage is in the 80%. Now, if you play a 4K video, some lag comes up and you can see the CPU and RAM usage increase. In fact, the CPU usage goes to 100%, but even then, the laptop is usable. We even tried some Photoshop on it and doing some basic photo editing with a single layer was kind of fine on this laptop, although it won't handle heavy editing, no doubts about that. If you're wondering, the laptop comes with Windows 11 Home and the Windows experience is also good all around. As for the thermos, this is a fanless design, so the laptop is always silent, but there is a vapor chamber cooling system in this laptop. The point is most Windows laptops in this price range are unusable and this is actually something you can use. It's not the fastest Windows laptop out there, but at this price, this brings a good Windows 11 experience. Anyway, performance is important, but so are the other basics of a budget laptop. When it comes to display, the Asus BR1100 has an 11.6 inch LED HD display and I'm not a big fan of the big chunky bezels all around, which makes it look like an old laptop. But Asus says that they kept this bezel to accommodate a full keyboard and give the screen better protection in case of drops. As for display, it's a matte display which looks decent when you look at it from the front. From a side angle, it does look a bit washed out due to the average viewing angles. And apart from that, the colors are fine and it's not the brightest, but it gets the job done. Also, display here can be tilted to 180 degrees like this. The port selection is good. On the left, you get a USB-C port which also supports charging, a USB-A port, HDMI, Kensington lock slot, and the power in port. The right has another USB-A port, Ethernet, a headphone mic combo jack, the power button, and a physical volume rocker. Now, there's no fingerprint scanner or Windows Hello support, but there is a 720p webcam here, which has a 3D noise reducing feature. And there's also webcam shutter built right into the design. Now, this is the keyboard that you get, and I like that it has a dedicated key to mute the mic, which students will find handy. Anyway, this is a chiclet keyboard, and the travel is low, but the typing feels smooth and nice, thanks for the good tactile feedback. The trackpad is decently sized and it is smooth and it supports Windows 11 gestures. Apart from this, there are two speakers which, like most speakers in this price range, are kind of average. The battery is a 42 watt 3 cell battery and there is a 45 watt charger in the box. Now, Asus claims battery life up to 10 hours, but practically this should last for 5-6 hours. As for connectivity, the laptop has Wi-Fi 5 with dual band support and this Bluetooth 4.2. And a lot of people have doubts on the warranty of budget laptops. This comes with one year warranty. Now, the other BR1100 laptop is a two-in-one laptop and it has the same specs as the usual one, but it has a flip design with a glossy touchscreen, so you can use it as a Windows tablet. 
And I like that this laptop has a stylus that's built right into the design. In fact, this slot also charges the stylus. As for the stylus's performance is good and I noticed good palm rejection too, so you can easily draw and write on the screen. Plus, this has an additional 13 megapixel camera that you can use in tablet mode. To conclude things, the Asus BR1100 series of laptops is definitely interesting, especially the BR1100C, which is priced at rupees 2499. I mean, 25K, there are only a few options of Windows laptops with SSDs, and that's where this makes sense. I mean, you saw it in action. This actually brings a good, usable Windows 11 experience for this price. It's not a perfect laptop. I think Asus could have cut down the bezels and the design could have been a little more appealing but I like the rugged features and the portability of the design. I also like that the other basics you expect in a laptop seem fairly on point, be it the keyboard, the ports, or the trackpad. So this seems like a good value for money laptop, right? So what do you think about these new BR1100 series of budget laptops? Comment down below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. We just got Apple's 2 lakh 30,000 rupee Mac Studio, so let's unbox this.